Hey guys, welcome back. It is time we are going to take a look at Whatnot. So Whatnot has had plenty of opportunity, plenty of time to make things right. And it seems like they're not, they're not doing that. There's a, there's a lack of action being taken in certain, in certain areas, in certain aspects that uh, is leading me to believe that they are not looking to do the right thing at this point in time. I do like the fact that people are continuing to get refunds. Uh, keep pushing for those if you if you applied for one. If you didn't send in your tickets to get one, do so, please, for the love of God. Again, it's my belief, uh, and it seems like they have refunded a couple people who did not ask for a refund, who did not submit a ticket, uh, which is good to see. But I would think that like the, the, the best course of action would have been just a blanket refund, everyone Blake-related, because it was a huge oversight on their part. They kind of ran defense for him, largely to do with Craig, who we're going to be taking a look at today. We're going to take a look at the DMs from Whatnot, the main Whatnot account itself. Courtney from Trust and Safety. Uh, we're going to take a look at who's still not banned, the actions that still need to happen, that still should probably be happening. I don't understand why they're not happening. Uh, again, it's just like the lack of transparency, the lack of action in certain areas here just it just tells me that whatnot has probably not changed their ways and that there's still issues and we're just gonna we're gonna take a look into it. We got a special special little treat for you today towards the end of the video here. I'm gonna take a look through. We have a uh, somebody with a very um, intense, a very intense amount of inside information on the operations of whatnot. Uh, which is going to be, that's going to be a treat and a half. Just uh, be, uh, buckle up for that one. Uh, that's going to kind of point us in the direction of, uh, hey, this is why this stuff might not be happening. If they covered up stuff before, are they going to cover up stuff again? Again, it, it, it's, it's, like the, it's like a club. If you're in the club, maybe they do their best to defend you. Uh, and maybe it takes somebody like Rattle Pokemon to make videos about it uh, in order for you to need to take action instead of just cleaning up the platform, just clean up the platform. If there are people that are scamming people, if there are people that are stealing from other people, if there are people that are profiting off someone stealing from other people, even if they didn't physically do it with their own hands, even if they didn't pull those sleeve boosters out of the pack and uh, use the mappable energies to steal from whatnot customers, Yes, you got to take action on all of it or you look bad. You're going to look bad. We're going to make video after video here. Clean up the platform. Fix it. Yes, I get it. You're going to be making less money, at least in the, the meantime. But it's gotten to the point that it, it's just it's too much. It's too much. You can't let that much stuff slide. I get it. There's incentives for people that are in, in the whatnot uh, manager type positions where they need more money coming in. And if they take proper action, the, the action that should be required on these people, uh, then they're going to make less money and they're going to look bad as a manager because, you know, they, they, they were preventing that revenue from coming in. But at the same time, you don't want to look like you're protecting thieves because they were protecting thieves. Now, the whatnot DMs. You can see back here in uh, 81622, uh, I asked the, the main whatnot account if they had the full VOD of the 86 Fleer box from the National, uh, and I did not get a reply. But recently, super duper. Uh, they say, hey, Rattle, in case you missed it on Discord, sending here. I'm Courtney from Whatnot. Hope it's okay. i reach out to you here. We appreciate your commitment to making Whatnot a safer community. We wanted to follow up with a clarification plus request related to our investigation into Blake's Breaks. Our priority is buyer safety and a fair experience. That's not what you've been showing. And all sellers must operate in accordance with our trust and safety policies. Unless they, unless they're fan favorites, unless they're company favorites, unless they're special exceptions, if we can prove the allegations against Blake's breaks are true, we will action accordingly. We have turned off his live access while we investigate. We'd love to see whatever evidence you have, and also speak to whoever you have chatted with from his team, with the goal of investigating slash confirming their allegations. So this like request here uh, to speak to whoever I've spoken to. Um, that I, I can't do that. I can't do I can't do that. If someone doesn't want to reveal their identity, I can't do that. That's it's not something I'm gonna do. If they want to come and talk to you, Courtney, if they want to talk to whatnot, they are free to do so. But um, I can't tell you who I talk to if they don't want to. I mean, other than the fact that if if they don't care, if they're going public with their statements, sure you can know. But also you'll you'll just know that in the videos. 
So I say, hi, Courtney, I can't share anything that isn't featured in the videos. Feel free to reach out if a bit of clarification is needed on any of it. I'm holding back a lot of information and names because of the perceived looming threat of potential lawsuits from Blake and his pull at whatnot. Can I ask why only one of the accounts is suspended? Is Craig Jones being investigated or part of the team performing the investigation? Did whatnot remove all the VODs? Would it be possible to call and discuss what is going on? She comes back with, hey, Rato, appreciate the clarifying questions. All Blake's accounts are suspended and Craig is not on the investigation team. Investig Wait, but is he being investigated? Investigations are run by our trust and safety team, which is independent from partnerships. We haven't removed any VODs. Happy to answer anything else. I say, is there a conflict of interest with you handling it? Uh, I say, you went to school with Blake and Craig. Uh, and she says, no conflict of interest. I was there getting my MBA. They were there for undergrad. I didn't meet Craig until whatnot. And I've never met Blake. You better hope you never met Blake. Because that would be, that would be a bad one. I'm not saying a lion here. It's just weird uh, that y'all went to the same school, uh, that y'all work for whatnot now. You're on the trust and safety team. The trust and safety team has been doing little to nothing. We're going to find out a little bit more about that in the near future here. And within this video. So, guys, we got a lot of reading to do, but I promise it's worth it. I say, okay, just making sure, is it possible to schedule a call with you and anyone else on the trust and safety team responsible for investigating this? I was under the impression that Craig has access to the whatnot social media accounts, which would make it a bit odd to discuss on here. Does he own part of Blake's Breaks? Um, there's an important question that seemingly never is going to be answered. Um, although we kind of know the answer that he does. Remember Robbie, uh, it was supposed to be like one third Robbie, one third Blake, one third, one, one third Craig. Um, uh, Robbie said that it wasn't one third, but he didn't, he wouldn't tell me what percentage that he owned of the company. Um, so I would imagine that maybe the split is, a, is close to that. We don't know, but regardless, if you have somebody that's a manager at whatnot, that's protecting the guy that's scamming people, the team of scamming scammers. Um, and, and he's a manager and he was running defense for the scams the whole time. And now he's not banned from the platform. I don't know. It's not looking good. Uh, I missed the voice message you deleted, but prefer text if it's not too much trouble. I have a ton of DMs to get through and a voice messages makes that a pain. So again, I don't know what the voice message was. Um, and then she says, let's move this to your Discord DMs. I messaged you there on my personal account. Well, let's take a look at that. So here it is, the Discord. And again, it was the same message as the Instagram for the first one. So we're not going to read through that. I said, I found it. I have an abundance of message requests and you got a bit buried. I still do. And I think I still have 102 Discord message requests. The Instagram ones I've kind of given up on. Um, so it's better to, to just keep it in one spot. Discord for the time being, please. And thank you. I say, is there any area or a member of the Blake team that doesn't have sufficient evidence against them at this point? Is it possible to grant me access to all of the older VODs? Courtney says, hey, Rato, our VODs are available for 60 days. To your first question, we'll be making an announcement on Twitter around 3 p.m. at PT today. Just wanted to let you know so you can take a look as soon as it hits. So this was the Blake ban, essentially. I say, sounds good. Offer still stands if you'd like to have a call between us uh, or even the entirety of the trust and safety team. I don't know who's on there, how many of them are on there, but uh, I will gladly talk to them if they would like to speak to me. Uh, just in case there's any confusion, I know I got a lot of videos and it's hard for them to, you know, do their job and watch them. I would like to hear if there are any areas that lack sufficient evidence. It's if it's not entirely covered in the statement. They were all very much involved in the scams, so I'll be disappointed to hear that the evidence wasn't enough. Tomorrow's video will cover that in more depth. So that's the thing, too. It's just like it, not only... Uh, are, th are these people like kind of all in on it? You had the six people that were doing the energy scams. You had everyone in the background that n they, they knew what was going on. Come on. Come on. And then I say Maggie is seemingly no longer a user but got ripped off hard. Uh, I think Maggie's still on partial refund status. Courtney says, would I love to find some time in the next couple of weeks to talk live? I say great announcement, but you missed some. Pete Locke, Robbie Rocks Cards, and Lou Skilla. 
Uh, I said maybe Kelly Lurk, but I need to dig more to confirm. Lou Skilla was doing the same energy scam. So this is like the most important part here. Uh, and apparently Lou Skilla uh, was at Collecticon in Long Beach telling people that he was laying low or that he was in hiding. Uh, which is kind of funny. I, I guess they, he thinks that he dodged the ban, which I don't understand how your job, your entire job can be trust and safety at whatnot. You guys are putting a priority on this shit and you can't see what's right in front of you. This is not my job. I Yes, it, I'm making videos here. It's not my job to make sure that you ban the correct people that are doing the same scams as the other people. We saw the Mintley stuff. They were doing a lot of the same energy scams. Oh, oopsie doopsie. I can't believe. I can't believe it always ends up being all the energies and a 0.2% chance or or, or even uh, worse odds than that when you when you got the uh, V-Star markers involved. Like, come, come on. Come on. Come on here, whatnot. Wake up. Wake up, whatnot. Free tendies here. Free way to fix it. Free way to clear your name. And they're not clearing their name. Like, you got caught with your pants down. And in your pants were a bunch of Blakers with their pants down. And you still you still don't just clean up the entire situation and try to move forward and try to fix it. And now we, we're seeing it's everywhere. That's the thing. If you just like, if you let this stuff fester, if you let people get away with it, other people are going to think they can get away with it. Then you ban some. You show favoritism to certain certain people. Uh, if they have like a, a bestie, a best man uh, relationship with one of the managers, then they get a free pass to fuck everyone in the ass. Like, what the hell is this? It's plain as day. It's right there. And if you think I'm just going to like uh, stop talking about it, or you think people are just going to forget about the fact that like Craig let it happen. Craig was making money off the scams. How the fuck is Craig still there? What the fuck are we looking at here? Courtney, hi, we refunded any buyers who was impacted by any of these streams where we've confirmed infractions and we've got a dedicated team working through the weekend on refund requests based on additional evidence submissions. Should be relatively straightforward via the form. Our team is already investigating the four you mentioned, but happy to take additional evidence if you have it. On Craig, the trust and safety team had led the investigations on this and the final decisions were made by our exec team. Craig wasn't involved. Courtney, Craig was involved. I have countless people, internal, external, people that submitted complaints about Blake. And Craig ran defense for Blake the whole time. Craig was making money off the scams. If he was par partial owner, if he had the, the, like, the absolute conflict of interest that is this entire situation blows my goddamn mind. If Craig was making money, if Craig was partial owner of Blake's Breaks, also had control over whether or not the final decision was made to punish Blake when complaints were made, hide the complaints, dismiss the complaints, that like even that within itself. And then Craig probably also owns shares and whatnot as well. Like, do, do you not see where this is at? Like, what the fuck? Like, do you think people are stupid? They're like, how, how? I, just because Craig deletes Blake from his Instagram, all the pictures of him and Blake sucking each other off and best manning each other as hard as possible, do you think that's a is that is that all it takes? Oh yeah, it, well, it seems like he never knew him. He, they, these guys did not interact. Um, go look at the countless complaints. You were probably part of those. I get it. Maybe you don't have the pull to be able to like shut that stuff down. But as a trust and safety team, I think you should probably have a little bit more say and should be a little bit more trustworthy and safety rather than like going with whatever you think needs to happen. Like all six people here, all six people. And so like not only can not only can whatnot watch my videos on Blake in order to see what happened, but also here directly here, right in the thumbnail, you don't even need to click on the video. You can see that all six of them were doing the same energy scam. You can see that the Mentley people were, you have refunds for these people, but they didn't, they didn't get banned. You have Lou Skilla, who himself, himself said that people should get refunds in the call that I did with him. People should get refunds for the Blake streams that he did. And then he also goes on a tangent about how it's the buyer's fault when they get scammed. Like what the, what do I need to show you? This should not blow over. People should still be pissed off about this. I got Pete Locke was Blake's assistant and Robbie is a mostly silent partner who is an 
defending the actions, their own group chats and meetings, so them claiming that they knew nothing about it is full BS. So that's the thing too. Like they were all in the same chats, the bin manipulation, all of that stuff was in writing. It was all in writing. They were sending out the product. They were grading the stuff. Like you think these people didn't know? They were hands on. And if they did know, or they didn't know, they should should say like, "Hey, we didn't know they they were scamming." None of them can even. None of them will even say Snee was scamming. The the countless examples of her taking a pack off screen, swapping with another one, usually very poorly. The open bottom vivid voltage packs. None of them can even say that that was a scam because they were all scamming, and they know that they'll have to. You know, if they throw one person out of the bus, they're just as guilty because they surely discussed all of this shit. They didn't just accidentally all do the same fucking energy scams. Oopsie doopsie, I can't believe we, we all couldn't figure out they were mappable. And we all did the same things. And we all went towards the end of the stream before we gave it the banny. And we all milked that extra money at the end of the stream where you had to pull a bunch of cards before one matched the other. Even though the odds say that it basically cannot happen. Multiple screenshots talking about odds manipulation with their bins. Courtney says, thank you. We are investigating Luskilla. Do you have original screenshots from Pete Locke and Robbie? Ideally, we'd have a video evidence versus screenshots, giving doctoring, etc. But happy to take a look. I mean, uh, you, the DMs with Robbie, where he says that one of the one of them is fake, the other ones aren't, and there's video evidence of Luskilla doing the same energy scams, and then them all trying to like and pretend they're not Blake's breaks anymore. They make a different name and they go to TikTok. Like, I don't know if if anyone could be more guilty than selling Blake's product. Same product that can be all linked back to Blake is in the background. They're selling it on TikTok, but it's not Blake's product. They're, they're new now. They're not Blake anymore. I say, when you have group-wide organized scams, shouldn't the assistant and silent partner be lumped in as well? The odds of them not knowing what was going on is basically non-existent. Same with anyone who was off camera helping while the pack swaps and map packs were going on. There's a reason why none of them wanted to denounce the actions of Snee when it was only one pack swap and when countless other examples were brought up. While your investigation was going on and accounts should have been suspended, Pete and Robbie are hanging out with Craig in his stream. So like there you have it. Like they're all they're all in bed. When called out for Robbie being a mod, Craig ignores it and removes the moderator role. Pete being boss scammer's assistant, and both him and Robbie were benefiting financially from the rigged gambling. So that's the thing too. The fact that like you are directly benefiting from it, whatnot is I'm assuming out of their own pocket paying this stuff out. Like uh, how? How is how is it that it's cool? It's cool if someone pretends that they didn't have anything to do with it. That they benefit from that stuff. That Luskilla can like go on Blake's stream and rip people off, and then like he goes back to his own his own channel, and he's like, uh, yeah, it's not the same, not the same. Yes, it was you. You did it. Say so it sounds a whole lot like Craig is also financially invested in Blake's break, so that is pretty important for what not to confirm. I'll be looking into complaints that were made previously. And if anything was done, um, so that's the thing too. You have access to all these complaints that everyone is telling me that they submitted. Everyone is telling me, and we're going to see the internal, the whatnot and the aspect, or uh, I guess info on what was going on with those complaints. Why do, why do those complaints just go into the void? What happens there? How many complaints are just dismissed as nothing? What about the, the show bidding? Remember show the, the, the Blake show bidding? We're going to take a look back at that too. You know, they got the uh, the week-long suspension for early payout, for shell bidding, for stealing from their customers, from whatnot customers. They got a one week. They got a one week. So I've confirmed from multiple angles now that that was a real thing, that that screenshot was real. Again, that was Mintley got the notification. Uh, he was done streaming with Blake at that point in time, uh, but for whatever reason got the notification from whatnot about the, the ban. I say, what is the upcoming Blake meeting about? Also, can you tell me if he had a 30-day early payout loss on or around July 12th? Sorry for the delay. We are thoroughly investigating every single incident slash submission related to Blake and his employees and are in a parallel working on policy to prevent similar events from happening in the future. 
excited to share more with you very soon. Re Blake meeting. We're meeting with him to make sure buyers who had graded cards with him get their cards. So um, the this part here, you know, it's just completely ignores the question, but it's okay. We confirmed it elsewhere uh, from multiple sources. Other way, we got we got Robbie who was dumb enough to tell me that it was a real thing. We have somebody with inside information at whatnot who told me it was a real thing. Uh, and we have Courtney who is ignoring it because you know what, it'd be weird if they like provided me with information um, and actually wanted to work on me with this stuff rather than trying to find out who I was talking to, right? I say, are you able to confirm the early payout loss for me? And then I say, Seth and Capri caught cheating, Mintley crew. Seth did the all eight energies, Thing, same as Blake in match the energy so wouldn't surprise me if the others did as well that combined with Seth and Capri related refunds um, and then I asked if this was looked into this is essentially plug used his daughter's name to create a burner account this this is what it looks like and, and people were saying that the account was bidding on and had won some of the auctions so like again like the, if you think that like the energy scam was the only scam going on here you're sorely mistaken. It's definitely not it. I was asking what was going on with P Wood because uh, there were still scheduled streams, but it, it turns out if you if you get banned, but you have stuff pre-scheduled, they whatnot somehow doesn't have the ability to to remove those upcoming streams, which is wild to me. You would think that they would want to bake that in. Also, it's weird that like the ways that people get banned make the profile show something different. You would think that maybe they want to show a reason or something like that, but not have different or like inconsistencies in what is going on but yeah i don't i don't get it i don't get it let's get into the super secret stuff though all right so the i guess the two main culprits that are just like why the hell has whatnot not banned them at this point in time why are they seemingly like running defense for them similar to how craig was running defense the whole time for the blakers i i, I don't get it whatnot i don't get it whatnot i really don't get it it looks like at one point in time uh, that they were they were gonna ditch Craig. It even sounded like they had uh, stopped inviting him to certain meetings and stuff like that. I don't know if that was because of the investigation. It's weird that his account wasn't uh, suspended like it is for the other ones that that were also under investigation. But Craig is back. He's he's moderating the main accounts streams. Now I'm not saying that Craig scammed anyone on his own streams. What I am saying is it's weird that you can run defense for Blake for as much time as he did have that much like of a conflict of interest that he's like, he's your friend, one of your best friends, if not your best friend, if you're going to have him as your best man, um, that it, you're kind of the reason that he, he's on the platform, that he didn't get banned, if, if you're protecting him from all these complaints that were happening, uh, and nothing happens here, that you're making money off the scams that he was performing. That you, say so, you say nothing publicly about how you didn't have anything to do with that. It's a shame that you saw someone do that that you cared about or that you knew. Nothing, nothing like that. He just he's gonna like go quiet for a while, uh, and now he's back to like streaming on on the platform. Still getting the salary from the platform. I don't, I I don't get it, guys. I don't know how the fuck do you trust whatnot when when they show like it, not only do they get caught with special treatment for people, but now they're still trying it. Like they're still like the, there's no there's no cleanse happening. There's no like, all right, we got to get rid of everyone that's involved with this stuff. They want to let on that it's in, in, that they're trying to protect the buyers and they're trying to make sure nothing like that happens ever again. But when you have one of the key components, one of the person, the people that probably profited the most from this shit, if he did own, which I, I'm assuming that he does, I haven't heard anything otherwise that he owns somewhere close to a third of Blake's breaks. And as a manager that protected Blake, how the fuck do you not get rid of him? I don't see it. I don't get it. I would love an explanation about like how he's like, oh, I can't believe Blake totally duped me and 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 had me, uh, you know, remove all the complaints or like dismiss all the complaints that were going on. Again, it only gets juicier here. We got a lot to read through. We got a lot to look through. Luskilla, I don't. I have no idea. I don't get it. This makes no sense to me. He did the same energy scam. I don't know if they were like <clears throat> going easy on him because he he did it for less time than some of the others because he was new, but he was still doing it right away as soon as he gets in there. He starts doing the energy scam. What the fuck? I don't... I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know if it ever will to anyone. Um, surely Whatnot has some kind of reason that they that they don't want to ban him. Again, it's just like, why? Just, please, if someone 
fucks, your customers, whatnot. You have to set an example. You have to remove them. It is not, it's, there's, it's cut and dry. If someone's ripping people off, they get caught ripping people off on your platform, they're gone. Yes, there's going to be instances where like, oh crap, I messed up something and I got to fix it here, please. Sorry, everyone. Make it right with everyone. But like, this is just cut and dry, just like straight. They, they would have been still doing it to this day if they didn't get caught. And then even even then, they'd probably still be doing it to this day if they weren't as overanalyzed as they were, but not from trust and safety, but from everyone that was clipping and going through video footage, sending it to me, all of them, everyone that did all of that stuff, thank you very much. Because WhatNot was not going to fucking do anything. They were not going to do anything. If the outrage wasn't there, they were going to sit on their fucking hands. The same way they're sitting on their hands with fucking Craig, same way they're sitting on their hands with Luskilla. All right, now, the juice of the video, and I will ask you guys to please leave comments down below in the uh, in the, uh, the comments section, comments in the comments section, uh, if you would like to uh, have your questions answered by this, uh, this mole. We're going to call them a mole. We'll just say they're a mole, okay? The mole. The mole. The red mole. The red mole here, uh, who's blanked out. Yes, I did have to redact some stuff so that uh, uh, they would not be identifiable. I have verified that this is a reliable source. So you're gonna to have to take my word for that. Uh, the info information that they're providing is very valuable, uh, and I did see that they would be able to to access the information that they are telling me. So if you guys have questions that are not covered within this, please comment section down below. Uh, I'll assemble those. Maybe I'll get uh, I'll get them to go through uh, all of those and, and pick out the best ones, and and then they can either do a write up. Oh, or if they'd like to hop on a call with like a voice changer or something like that in order to uh, protect their identity. Again, there's a lot of this because whatnot is corrupt. We're seeing it. We're seeing how corrupt it is. Even after completely getting fucked with this whole Blake thing, claiming that like, okay, we're going to make it a safer spy place for everyone to purchase and all this other stuff. They're still, they're still doing the same shit that they were doing before. So anyway, Q&A, ask it down below. In a follow-up video, I will get to all the ones that are, uh, I guess, the best ones. The best ones? Everything that's appropriate. Anything and everything uh, that leads to and is a good question, uh, those will be included. Now, let's get through. Uh, so anything that's read it out here, this is redacted. Uh, the profile picture name, uh, although I think it's a, the name itself is not necessarily associated uh, with the individual. All right. They say, I can 100% do a call, would prefer to not be recorded at first, fill you in, and if you need any of it on video, we can talk about how to do it. Would prefer like a question call where you can ask questions about operations and such, and I can tell you what I know. Trying to help you out how I can. I can fill you in on operations, some stuff with Blake. I don't know any private calls between Craig or Blake, but I can say Blake was no, was in no way a common topic around the company or an important person. I mean, it should be pretty important. Like if, if time and time again, you're seeing complaints on them, probably should be pretty important. Obviously, now they are talked about quite a bit because of scamming. But yeah, I do have another one insider that used to work for Blake's Breaks as well. Can better confirm some things. However, at the time they worked for him, for them, it was towards the beginning and guess the energy was not a thing, nor were the bins. All right, now we have Blake shitting his pants because he's like, oh my God, who is it? Who did it? I say, is it true that Blake didn't have a paid promotion button because it was essentially always on? And they say, not true. But though the algorithm of live shows, he was always towards the top. Algorithm weight is heavily based on sales per hour and value of sales for the majority. There are other minor factors such as people viewing and also interaction in chat. Maybe there was something behind the scenes I was not aware of. But as far as a feature button, I verified it was not turned on. All right. So I say I have people telling me that his channels didn't have the button, that it was essentially missing. All right. We got the explanation here from the red mole who says, so basically there are two buttons. There's a back end button that they have always had, which it was is called a feature button. This button was only able to be triggered by employees and was only used by the GTM go-to-market employees such as Craig. This button was has a go-to, has to go through, man, I can't read. This button has to go through higher ups to be activated and was only used for events and such to highlight what event they are doing. 
So I think this might have been used a little bit more than just asking to be used, uh, because I've heard from other people that Craig did them the old, the old handy, handy dandy uh, promotion. So this is like the only way that he could kind of pump them, give them a little pumpage. And uh, no, it wasn't a special event or anything like that. I think it was just like a favor. So if he was doing a favor for other people, there's probably a good chance he was doing a favor for Blake, his best man, and the guy that he was running defense on. There is also a promotion button called a promo tool. This is a user facing tool where sellers can pay to promote their show for a small period of time. That button is added and removed based on if they allow it to be used by sellers per certain categories. There are certain times where Pokemon TCG category has it turned off. I believe it has been turned off for this category for a little while now. That is why shows in that category cannot see the button. Having the show promoted on the back end and pushed to the top would not affect the visibility of that tool to sellers. That's how I can confirm that. That is not a true thing. Oh, I should probably mention on the, there's some personal details there that and probably they weren't all that relevant, but also don't want to make, I just want to make sure that like this person's not standing out and they're like, oh, I know exactly who this is. Again, if there's people that are looking to do the right thing, and they're worried that the action is going to be taken, whether it be whatnot, especially if they're involved with whatnot, or Blake, or Craig. Craig is still fucking there somehow. So I asked, could Craig have boosted their shows whenever he felt like it, or even left it on, or he had to get permission? So I think I think he was doing this. And uh, the Red Mole says, could he? Sure. But there is a physical trace of it. He would need permission. He doesn't have as much power as most people think. He does manage relationships with TCG sellers, though, and is able to make things happen. But ultimately, he has to report to a higher up for anything not within his power, such as that. Essentially, if he did do that, he's risking his job. Well, I don't like. I don't know if it's, is your job in risk at any point when you're you're receiving funds and protecting the platform's biggest scammer. At least as far as we know. Maybe there's a bigger scammer on there. All right, Red Bull comes back with this. Says, um, BTW, whatnot, monitors show bidding, but does not action until you reach a certain threshold. Basically, to account for accidental bids. Oopsie doopsie, I bid on my own stuff. I think anytime you bid on your own stuff, whether it's same IP or anything like that, there should at least be somebody that quickly looks into it. Maybe that's just me. I just think that that's like... Show bidding is clearly like... One of the easiest ways that whatnot streamers can be fucking you in the ass is is shill bits. If they're if they're not absolutely dumb, if they're not using their accounts that they've associated or they've turned it, we've seen Blake turn his account, uh, one of his his burner accounts into like one of the channel accounts, and then people are like looking back through the DMs and they see that like that was Blake all along because it was he was letting on that he wasn't Blake, like just stupid crap like that. Like if 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 the scammers are not the stupidest people on earth, and yes, they tend to be, but if they're not stupid, they can be screwing you over and you'll never know it. Blake was action for shill bidding on the new beta at the time. Weekly auctions, the second week, whatnot, was trying weekly auctions on the marketplace. Blake had like five of the 20 items up for auction. You can see mid history on the app for those auctions. It was the Blake Bossman account and another account, I forget the other account name, bidding back and forth to raise the auction price up before the end of the week. It was super obvious as those were the only two accounts bidding on the item. Guys, what the fuck? What the fuck, guys? Please, can someone please, can someone please tell me? How you do this? How do you take a hollow off screen right in front of in front of Craig, and Craig defends you for it? How do you how do you shill bid on an item? Get caught shill bidding on an item, and it's as blatant as you're doing it on your actual Blake Bossman account and another account which is associated with with them, and this the, nothing happens. What what the hell? What not? You need, I don't know what you need to do here, but it sounds like the entire operation is way worse than we thought going in. Not that it wasn't just like, I, I mean, the fact that Craig is still there, that Craig can just like walk it off. The, the lack of action is telling. Someone flagged it and whatnot actioned his account for it. Wow. 
and maybe this was because it was more automated, did something actually happen? Or something had to happen? The amount of reports on his account was a ton. I can tell that just by the amount of people that told me that they reported his account and nothing was done. The support team is slash was very tired of these reports as he was hardly ever actioned. Right. I believe that 100%. And maybe the support team, maybe they don't have any say. Maybe it's, it's above their level. They can't say something because maybe they get fired. Maybe they, they, get, they get punished for it. If it's not like an official manner, then maybe... Maybe they just don't get a raise. Maybe they they don't get a promotion. They don't get hours. Whatever whatever it might be. They, there's a ton of stuff that like these people are in a like a position of power, and that's why you have people that are concerned, that don't want to speak up, that don't want to use their own voice, that don't want to come public. That the whole thing just reeks of that. Like everyone's worried that there's going to be backlash, and then it takes someone like me. Who has nothing to lose in terms of like, oh, oh what, what are they going to do? Ban me from whatnot? And then make a video about how I got banned from whatnot for not doing anything other than trying to fix their platform for them. Basically, when a TNS is about to action an account, they have to take it to take an account manager and any higher ups if they are a VIP account. Every time anyone would raise a flag about Blake, Craig was tagged. Craig always argued that whatnot, Blake. Whatever Blake uh, was getting flagged for wasn't actually against TOS per technicality. So like the taking stuff off screen, the hollow off screen, that wasn't a joke. You don't know the buyer. You took it off screen. You slid it off screen. Craig did, did this a lot with a lot of bigger accounts in TCG because they made him look good as he looks over the TCG category and sales slash profit in that category it makes him look good. This is why it took forever for Cloud TCG to get banned. Very known scammer basically would ship out like 50% of his orders. So yeah, there's that too. Like the, the not shipping stuff out. Um, I don't know exactly what went on there. Cloud TCG is probably just maybe a little bit lucky uh, that, uh, that I wasn't making videos or didn't catch on to this when it was happening. Although, I don't know. Like, there's only so much whatnot stuff that we can show here, guys, before we have to just give up on the platform. I think it's what it's coming down to. Like, if they don't show that they're actually going to fix things, uh, that there's a lack of ethics there, there's a lack of action taken when, uh, you know, a lot of people's, yes, it's great that they've kind of been forced into a, into a place where they have to refund people, but it never should have got to that at any point. Like, it never should have got as bad or as big as it got. Blake had 0% fees from whatnot, but paid the 2.9% processing fees. Okay. On the three accounts or whatever, probably. And then you got like special, special access to those accounts, those multiple accounts with zero fees on them. I, I would assume through Craig. Right? Probably. Maybe. If you need to confirm anything about whatnot operations or Blake info, feel free to ask and I will tell you if it is true or not. Some things I don't know, but I'll be straightforward and tell you if I don't know. All right, two more slides here and then I will let you guys have at the comments section to see if there's anything that you guys are thinking of that can think of that would be good to ask somebody with internal knowledge of what was going on at whatnot. What is going on at whatnot? What was going on at whatnot? If you have questions of that sort, do leave them, please and thank you. I'm sure you guys will come up with some great ideas. So I say, okay, was there anyone else on the platform not paying fees? They reply with, I watch the majority of your videos, so if I see something, I'll make a comment about it. I say, so essentially Craig got the final say in all the Blake complaints. There were, and they come back with, there weren't many people left that had that kind of deal. Essentially early... Early sellers who became big or were big at the time when whatnot started and whatnot recruited them, they would offer lower fees or 0% fees depending on mutual benefits. I mean, that whole like reduced fees and stuff like that is kind of, kind of, I don't like it. I really don't. If they want to do special, I don't, I don't know how they do this in like a fair manner, but like just the fact that you're competing against somebody that's not paying fees and you're paying like 10% plus the the, the card fees, like, that's already just, like, a huge, like, slap in the face. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. Like, yes, they have to do something to attract people, but maybe it's something that's outside of that so that they don't feel like 
um, that the, the, the items that you're directly selling, you're at a huge disadvantage with. Maybe it's got to be a salary outside of that. Maybe it's got to be a bonus outside of that, but not on the actual items themselves. I, I get that it kind of leads to the same thing. It's still money or still product going to someone. Maybe they do special events, something like that, that feature those people if they really want to keep them on, if they really want to gain them. It, uh, and again, it, it, it can probably also go too far on that in that respect. He says they stopped doing lower fees a while ago, and even big influencers weren't getting that unless on a very special occasion. Pokemon Radar, I think, has 0% fees still, but he hasn't sold on there in forever. Likely people like Chloe and Don Diego still have reduced fees, but I'm unable to confirm that. Uh, speaking of, I still need to, to find out from uh, Radar and uh, Diego uh, about the uh, the whole, like, oopsie doopsie, uh, she bid on one of his items and said it on the live stream. Um, he was saying that I had to talk to her about it. She was saying that I was misogynist for, um, saying that. I don't know. She came up with a bunch of G baller excuses, uh, for why that happened or why it, why it was a misunderstanding. But I, again, I was reaching out mostly in order to just, you know, see what happened, see if it was a misunderstanding. Maybe they had separate maybe they had separate collections and she wanted to buy something from him. Maybe they were already breaking up or whatever they were doing. I don't know. I just wanted an excuse or like a reason to see if they had one uh, and they didn't have one. Um, so it just seemed like they were show bidding each other's items and were dumb enough to mention the fact that they were doing so um, on that stream. And and then when Don Diego like loses at me and uh, starts DMing people about how I'm uh, I'm this terrible sexist misogynist motherfucker uh, who only uh, thinks that she was show bidding because uh, because I hate women or something blows my mind. That screams to me like okay you're looking for some kind of out that isn't an actual out. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if it was a girl, a guy, whatever, whoever was doing it. I don't care who was doing it. If they said something like that, I would ask them the same thing. Uh, and the fact that you're so defensive about it in all the wrong ways uh, leads me to believe that, that there was actually some bad action going on there. So again, like the man, can people just fuck off and just, if you're going to make money, make money, but do it in an honest way. Do it in a transparent way. You don't need to steal from people. You don't need to. You don't have to steal from people. And I get it. People, like they're like, oh, I'll never get caught for doing this. And then they fucking do it and they get caught. And they're like, oh, shit. And then they're like, oh, no, I'm my reputation. Look how reputable I am. I definitely didn't do that thing I very much got caught doing. Yeah, well, you could say the same thing about Blake. All right. So in response to my so essentially Craig got the final say in all the blank com Blake complaints. Says he used to, yes, but it ended up letting a lot slide through. TNS got an overhaul about a year ago, and essentially all actions were kept in a Google document. Why the fuck does this not surprise me? The same with like their, their form that they had people fill out about the getting scammed. Like, what the hell? When the overhaul happened, they essentially didn't move over any actioning that had previously happened. Now all actioning is better tracked within their actual systems. Everyone essentially got a clean slate. Also, even though they tag Craig in potential actioning on the TNS side, he doesn't have a final say anymore. However, depending on the infraction, he does have a chance to save face and give a plea on reaching out to whatever seller it was to coach them on what not to do next time. This means they don't get actioned for something they should be actioned for. That leads to more chances given. God damn it. Why do I have to explain to these platforms that you don't give? You don't give multiple chances. You definitely don't give several chances to people that are ripping people off. Because it results in this video series. It results in the whole Blake thing. And now it results in the fact that you're embarrassing yourself that you don't actually take action on what you should take action on here. The favoritism happens in that process. As if the seller is currently under the wing either of either Craig or the other TCG GTM employee, Rizzo is the last name, then they'll have an opportunity to be warned instead of actioned, essentially. Don't, don't you rip anyone off again. Don't, don't stop your shill bidding. Don't do it. Holy fuck, man. You, like, you, and you wonder, you wonder why. You wonder why I can I could just make a second channel that is exclusively daily whatnot nonsense. Doing drugs on there, 
ripping people off, illegal gambling, unregulated, unlicensed, online casino that is whatnot, potential scams, obvious scams, swapperinos, all of it, like all of it. It's just never ending. It's just like the worst of the worst because you let it get to that point and whatnot. You let it get there. There should be no extra super chances. If the seller does not have contact with a GTM employee and are not under their wing, then they just go, they, they also just say, go ahead when TNS asks to action them. If at any time the proposed actioning is not in agreement with Craig or Rizzo, then they will argue their points on why not. If TNS is super insistent on actioning, then a TNS lead will be called into play to better discuss if the seller should be actioned. This is disgusting, guys. I am this. I am disgusted, I, and we're kind of seeing. We're starting to see why things have never been done unless they have to, and we're seeing why things have not been done. Even when given the opportunity, they're in the spotlight. They have to take action. They fucking half-ass it, and uh, this is it. It's just it's a it's a fucking club. If you have a pass with one of the people, then you have a pass with one of the people. Short of, you have to basically fuck people as hard as Blake fucked people in order to get kicked off of there because they just can't have it anymore. And now they're just trying to like trickle out the refunds. They claimed in their own statement that they refunded everyone that was affected, but they didn't. That was that was either worded in a way that they were trying to trick all the, the media outlets, you know, the stupid media outlets that are saying that Blake was selling fake Jigglypuffs or some stupid shit like that. The ones that don't look into anything, they just read the whatnot statement and they regurgitate that into a podcast or an article or something like that. That, the, the whole, this whole thing just reeks. Whatnot, smarten the fuck up, fix the fucking problem, fix the problems. You have a lot to crack down on that's outside of this. So just fix this right away. If there was anyone that was profiting and involved with this shit, you need to get rid of them. You don't need, I guess you don't need to do anything, but in terms of like, in my eyes, like for me to even slightly respect what they're doing there, they're not gaining it. They're doing bare minimum here and they're protecting people that shouldn't be protected. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed for all the other people that are on whatnot that don't want this shit to go on. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of people that don't want this shit to go on. I can't blame them. I'd be embarrassed. This is like, why does anyone want to be associated with the shit? Well, like the corruption is like top down. See you guys next time. Make sure you leave your comments, your questions, questions, not comments, your questions down below in the comments section. And uh, we'll see if we can't get some more info out of our mole here, our red mole. Thank you very much to the Red Mole. Thank you very much to everyone that's watching and sharing this information. I know it's been a little while since we had a Blaker video, uh, but uh, there's a lot going on on my end. I can't do everything for them. They need to step up. Whatnot needs to step the fuck up here uh, and do what's right for their customers. The customers, you guys, the customers, the Whatnot customers, whether you're watching this, whether you're not watching this, you are the most important part of their business. They might not want to admit it. They might not uh, show that they, that they know that, but they know that. Money, money talks, and if you aren't buying stuff on whatnot, then the, maybe that's that's the way to show them that they need to do something. They need to do more than what they've done, because it's not going to happen every time that, that that people get caught scamming, red-handed, and they'll refund you. Like this is, people are very lucky that that happened, that they're doing that, uh, and that it doesn't come to some like class action nonsense that they, you probably get little to nothing out of it. Not to say that that won't happen. I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure that's a possibility, but I don't know. I just, just do what you need to do. Why not? Holy crap! See you guys next time. Join my Discord. Bye.